Hello everyone, Philippe here again. Once more here with Dinah. We're going to keep working with the Spider Girl a little bit with another submission. Nice to see everyone. Let's try already. Moving the head sideways. Up and down. Circling the head, everyone. Both sides. On. The other on. Tips. Both sides. Dropping the floor of one. Hips above the floor, moving feet and knees side to the side. So you can loosen up the hips, counting to 10 everyone. Then bridging, 10 times each side. Hipscape everyone. <coughs> 10 times each side. Turning to the right, right foot on the floor, I drag my hip all the way to the left, do the same thing, left foot on the floor, hip forward, all the way to the right, sometimes each side of one, side to the side, and I'm gonna sit, one knee up, the other one on the floor, first with the upper body forward, then my hips are gonna fall, pay attention to keep your hip really low, close to your heel, and in front of your heel, okay everyone? I'm gonna sit, switch my knees, do the same, first with the upper body, then with my hip, okay, one side, and the other side, five times each side everyone, rolling over the shoulder, backwards, and forward, same thing to the other side, backwards, and forward, five times each side everyone, controlling the hip and the shoulder back and forth, and last but not least, rolling sideways, head towards the knee. I want to roll over my shoulder, not over my head, okay, people? Shoulder on the floor, hip comes up. I want to keep my feet as close as possible to the floor. Going to my side, coming back the same way. Okay, people, try to stay relaxed with your hips or you're able to uh, properly move it without using the hands. Five times each side, both sides. And you're going to start with the partner drills. Okay everyone, so just repeating the drill that we've been doing since the beginning of the uh, spider guard uh, position. Dania is controlling my sleeves with her shins on my elbow. She's going to step on my elbow, extending the leg. You see people, she extended the right leg, so she's turning to the right, putting the other foot on the bicep with my hand in. And she's just going to use the foot that she has on my bicep right here. As she steps on my bicep, she elevates the hip, turning all the way to the other side having the same control on the other side. Pay attention people, for, for this transition from side to the side, keep going down, you have to remove your, to elevate your hips from the floor. So use this foot that you have on the bicep to bring your hips up so you guys can switch sides. As I said, we've been doing this exercise for the past classes. Okay, so if you guys need more details, just check out the past classes that we did, okay? The idea is just to get the mobility, you don't have to be fast, just make sure you guys are keeping the control correctly. And here people, you can see one leg extended, the other one all the way bent, okay? If she stands, extends both, I can move away and she doesn't have to, uh, a good control. She wants to have one extended, the other one bent so I cannot move from here, okay? One of you on the bottom for three minutes and then you guys switch. Okay everyone, and we're gonna repeat the drill that we did on the last class. If you guys need more details, also check the last class. It's the same motion, but this time setting up attack. So then it's gonna set her spider guard. Okay, what you guys are going to do on this arm that you guys have bent, you're going to remove the foot and pull the sleeve all the way towards you. Now then it's gonna use this foot on the bicep to bring her hip all the way towards my chest 
and chop her foot behind my shoulder. She's gonna go back to the first position, she's gonna switch sides just like we, we did before, and here, pulls my sleeve, hip up, chopping the leg behind my back with her hip up, and just switching sides, doing the same thing, pull the sleeve, hip up, chopping behind my, my back, and coming back, so we can start setting up some attacks. Again, everyone, we saw this yesterday, so if you guys need more details, just check, just check yesterday's class. Three minutes on the field on the bottom, then you guys switch, rugs on the bottom get on top, another three minutes, and we can go to today's position. All right, people, so we're gonna, again, start in the situation where we have close guard, and getting the control of her shoulder is a good situation for me to attack it. So going to the spider guard is a good position for me. So I get the control of the sleeves, I switch my hips on the side so I can bring my knees in, the hip to the other side to do the same. So now that I have a good control, you can see that Dani has a really bad time posturing up as I have this control. Right, I'm gonna set my spider and from here I already have a good control. So from here people, I wanna attack, I wanna do the same thing that we did yesterday to get the triangle but this time I want to get the omoplata. So it's going to be the same move. So I'm going to remove this foot, pull the sleeve, elevating my hip. But this time, as I bring my leg over the shoulder, I'm not chopping behind her back anymore. I'm already bringing next to the face. And from here, I step with the other foot on the floor and extend my leg to bring her shoulder down and bring myself up from here. I already have a good control of her hip. Pay attention people that this leg that I have over the shoulder that I keep extended. I want to have my toes pointing up so then I can no longer posture up. If I have a ballerina foot right here, then I can start bringing her shoulder up again, which we don't want. So I want to have my leg really heavy, tense, toes pointing up. I'm going to push my both feet to the left bringing my body to the right and from here I can finish the omoplata. Let me show this one more time a little bit slowly. Here setting my control going for the spider. From here people as I pull the sleeve I'm gonna elevate my hip already chopping my leg over the shoulder the other foot on the floor as I'm moving towards the hip people I don't wanna stay in this position for very long. So as I start moving, I'm already extending my leg. As I bring her shoulder down, I bring myself up, already controlling the hip. If I wanna flatten my opponent here, people, sometimes I, I don't wanna deal with my opponent's hip up. I can just step with my foot on the floor. I can bring my hip towards my heel. And from here, I have a really good option to a uh, really good opportunity to finish the omoplata either by going towards her shoulder or by moving forward you can get a submission as well you can move with a wrist lock as well here if you guys want have some good options to get my finish sorry <laughs> so what is important for us people we're doing this step by step but once I move to the omoplata I want to do this at once so I went to the side, to the other side, I set my control, I want to bring myself all the way up so I can catch my opponent by surprise and finish here with the omoplata. The, mo the motion to go for the, the, the triangle and the omoplata is basically the same. What is going to change here, here is that when I have this point, the triangle, I'm gonna stop here and bring my leg over. Where, with the omoplata, I'm gonna bring my foot towards my knee, stepping, pushing my leg forward, so I can bring myself up and get to the omoplata position. And from here, people, like I said, a lot of the times my opponent is gonna be fighting to keep the hip up. Uh, if you're gonna if this is uh, 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 something that is happening to you and you're struggling with getting the omoplata from here, 
to flatten your opponent, foot on the floor, drag your hip towards your heel, now that your opponent is down, really complicated for your opponent to move and you can finish a little bit easier, okay? So again, people, as usual, step by step so you guys can understand. As you get more comfortable, you guys can start speeding up. And let's train a little bit of one. Okay, people, so again, starting from this position that we've been doing since the beginning of the spider guard theme, uh, Dania has the control of my both sleeves with her knees open, shin over my elbow, and we're gonna see ourselves in this position. So, uh, from here, guys, I'm gonna suggest you to set your spider guard and start working from here. Purse on the bottom, trying to get a sweep or a submission. Purse on top, you don't want to get swept or submitted, and if you have the chance, pass a guard. So basically, if Daniel reaches her goal, for example, she goes for an attack, she already went for the triangle. If she gets a submission, good for her. We start from the beginning and we're gonna keep working. Wanna be on the bottom for three minutes, then you guys switch and work in it and <coughs> whoever's on the bottom get on top and you guys just keep working. Then you can add as many rolls as you want after that. Make sure people that you work uh, the best way possible with the spider guard so you start getting comfortable. I know that the spider guard seems odd in the beginning but it's a very strong position if you guys can develop and the only way to do that is by practicing. Okay, I remember last time I showed spider guard was right before the, the we closed for the first time due to the COVID restrictions and I remember people starting with a spider guard and going straight to another guard Try to stick with the spider guard a little bit. In the beginning, people are gonna pass your spider guard in 10 seconds. After a week, there's gonna be 30 seconds, then it's gonna be better and better, and you guys are gonna be really, uh, you're gonna be feeling way more comfortable in it. Okay? So people, hope everyone's okay, hope everyone's healthy, and see you guys soon. Bye-bye.